Dinner will be served in 15 minutes. Don't mind the others. Just because they don't want you here doesn't mean you're not supposed to be. Well, J.J. Abrams, Jordan Peele, you got a hit. This past week's episode of Lovecraft Country was straight fire. And ladies and gentlemen, this is my trailer review for episode two. And the way I do this, I like to go in here and try to break down individual clues. But because I'm not going to be able to use the full clip, I'm going to pick out the two parts that I think are going to be the most impactful. And we're going to break it down and let's take a look at it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. Follow me and Larry live and our special guests. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night, we will be discussing Lovecraft Country, some other great TV shows that are coming out. And also, I'm keeping you guys abreast on stocks. And if you haven't downloaded the Robinhood app to get investing, download it and follow my moves as I help you guys make money in the stock market. Let's watch the clip of the trailer that I think is the most impactful. We'll break it down and we'll discuss it. I face this new world head on. Instinct I claim in it. It's our story. This birthright belongs to our family. Very first scene, ladies and gentlemen, our crew, Lydia, Uncle Freeman, Atticus, they arrive at this mansion. White guy comes to the door. And ladies and gentlemen, someone said to me, Lamar, ain't it rather weird that it's the 60s, you see three black people with a lot of blood on their shirt, and you're just going to invite them on the inside. There should have been two entities there that should have been up that should have been fearful. Our three heroes plus the white guy that invited them inside. That's what we see them. We see them inside. They done took a bath. They're nice and clean. White guy saying, come on in. Then in the next clip, he's taking them through, I guess, the dining hall. And there ain't no black folks in sight. All you see is a bunch of Anglo-Saxons dancing, partying, doing whatever they want to do. And the guy that invited them in is saying to them, look, don't worry if they don't like you, you still have a right to be here. Hell, that would have made me even more scared. There's only three of us African-Americans. It looks like a trap house in the 60s for Anglo-Saxons. I would have been very nervous about that. Very next clip, you see the guy that invited them in the house, just basically whispering to Atticus. And now Atticus got on a suit. I mean, brother looks dapper as hell. Um, bow tie and everything. Like he about to go eat a bean pie. We'll see what happens. Then we see druids. They obviously do some kind of spells in this house. Um, there are some power in here. There's something magical going on in here. Kind of like the Illuminati. You just don't know what they're doing. I guess we have to wait for the story to play out. But when you see druids... And then you see all those candles. You know there's some kind of seance. There are some magic, some witchcraft going on in here. And we'll see what that's all about. And then they cut the ruby. That's Uncle Freeman's wife. And she is either having a horrible nightmare or she's actually seeing something laying in the bed. Now, when we last seen her, Uncle Freeman had left her in the town and went on about his business. But here she looks scared as hell. We'll see what happens. And then you see Lydia looking up at something about to fall down. And what is falling down looks like there's some kind of an old school elevator that's getting ready to crush her. And in the very next clip, you see her saving Ruby. So somehow or another, Ruby has made it to wherever they're at at this mansion. And they're all together. And you see her standing in the door. She saved Ruby from the elevator falling down on top of their heads. Then we go to this clip right here. Now, this is the weirdest one. You see somebody in here and you see someone sitting behind a table turning into a monster. Um, I can't wait to figure out what exactly is this. And is this the person that's the leader of everybody else? Is this Christina Braithwaite? Has she figured out a way to turn herself into a monster and then turn back into a human being? Very next clip, it looks like that's Lydia trapped in an all-white room. And I mean, how many rooms is in this damn house? The house got like 349 rooms. They're doing spells in every which one of these rooms you can think of. Then we see Lydia speaking to someone. 
and we see Atticus beating up somebody. Now, I think this could be a flashback, possibly. Him thinking about something that happened before they got here that has a connection to this house. And then we see some magical powers crushing the car and all this stuff that's going on, all this magic, all this love craft, is somehow or another tied to Atticus and his family. You see Atticus sitting there talking to someone. That could be Lydia, Uncle Freeman. Then the very last clip, we see Atticus back with his daddy. His daddy name is Montrose. They're in water and they're talking about whatever these powers are. Is their birthright. And I wonder, are they going to drag it out the whole season before they can fully realize these powers? Because ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, they're dealing with racism and monsters. And now they're in a house that's full of Anglo-Saxons trying to figure out and learn from them, possibly whatever this family birthright is to witchcraft power. So we'll see what happens this weekend. I can't wait for this next episode. I want you guys to post me all your comments, all your theories. I'll be trying to make you videos about these comments and theories. And we'll see what happens. And be sure to catch my review on Sunday. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself the life gain. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me DMs if you have any questions or comments about this particular TV show and about stocks and anything else I cover on my channel. And while you're at it, download the Robin Hood app, start investing in stocks, and follow me when we drop those videos. To that next sex is hell video. We'll see you.